Hello everybody, my name is Dustin and I'm one of the nature interpreters here at Royal Botanical Gardens. Now I'm joining you from one of our nature sanctuaries right on the shores of Coots Paradise Marsh. And I'm here to talk to you a bit about why water is important and how we kind of keep track of how clean the water is out in the environment. So if you didn't know, everything that is alive needs water, the plants, animals, everything around us needs water. And that is especially important for the wetland plants and animals that we have living here. Even if the animals or the plants don't live directly in the water, they're going to be living right close to the water, they're going to be drinking the water, they're going to be eating things that live in the water. So in the end, everything relies on the water out in the environment to survive. Now here at RBG, we have a number of ecologists, and these are scientists that study the environment, that work really hard at testing if the water is healthy and trying to restore the habitat here so that we can have good, healthy, clean water. Because while it's important that we do a lot of work to clean our water and keep it from getting polluted, a lot of the plants and the animals that live around here are going to do the same. Plants and animals here are actually going to help keep our water healthy. As wetland plants grow, they're going to suck up the water, absorbing all the nutrients that they need, but also absorbing and storing some of the pollutants that might be in the water. This willow is a good example of a plant that helps store pollutants in its large trunk as it grows. Animals can help clean the water too. Freshwater mussels filter feed, which means they suck up the water and all of the things that they might need to eat, and then they spit out what they don't want onto the ground. This especially helps remove a lot of the dirt and muck that might be floating in the water, and it will help make the water more clear. So there's lots of different ways that our ecologists can measure the quality of water in our marsh or in ponds nearby uh, by looking at the clarity of the water using a secchi disc that they drop in until they can't see it anymore, by using other tools to measure how much oxygen might be in the water, how many pollutants like phosphates and nitrates might be in there, how much salt might be in the water, so all of those things can tell us if the water is healthy. Now, one of my favorite ways to tell if water is healthy is by just looking at what's living in it. So certain things can live in lots of pollution and some things can't. So if we're looking at this pond beside me, all you might need is a net and a bowl to kind of survey and see what kind of critters are living in it. So if we have a look here, it might not look like much at first, but then if you look closely, you'll see there's all kinds of things swimming around. You might notice some snails, some shrimp-like things, and all kinds of stuff moving in the water. So there's all kinds of animals that will live in the water that you don't normally see. And a lot of these are called aquatic invertebrates. And depending on what aquatic invertebrates are living in the water, that can tell us how healthy the water is. So invertebrates are the things without skeletons, without backbones, right? We have our bones inside of us. They're gonna have their bones on the outsides of their bodies. And things like dragonfly larvae, mayfly larvae, lots of different kinds of larvae and beetles might start their lives in the water. So some of them, like the dragonflies, are very sensitive and they can't live in a lot of pollution. But other things like leeches can survive in very polluted waters. So if you're surveying a pond and you see only leeches, chances are that water is probably not too healthy. But if you see a very diverse community of aquatic invertebrates, things that don't live in a lot of pollution, that can't live in a lot of pollution, chances are that that water is healthy. And until next time, happy exploring.